Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at CES at the Clear Booth with Michael Murphy, who's going to tell us a little bit about well, a, a new integration of WiMAX into our power systems. What am I looking at here? That's correct. This is a, a WiMAX enabled power meter, and it's um, it's a it's a um, an advance that we're going to see the electric utilities doing by uh, de de rolling these new meters out into their networks. Smart grid is a biz big buzzword these days, but what it really means is the ability to manage, monitor, and uh, predict what your electric usage is. That's always been interesting because we've all heard about the smart grid. The smart grid will save us. The smart grid will stop blackouts. The smart grid will lead to microgeneration and so on and so forth. But it's difficult to have a smart grid if we still have dumb meters, That's which is what we have now. I mean, someone has to go out to the side of your house, brush away the dirt and the leaves, right. find out how much power you've been using, and then report it back, and it may or may not be uh, efficient, it may or may not be accurate. That, that, that's correct. Um, we're working right now with an electric grid that's designed 100 years ago. <laughs> so yeah. uh, it, there's a convergence happening, information technology with electric uh, grid technology, and this is where it, it becomes real. This is where you internet enable the meter mm -hmm. and you are now able to collect the information on a real-time basis. But not only is that information available to the utilities, right. it's also available to the consumer. Right. Right. So people can say, oh, hey, I've left this light bulb on. <laughs> it's wasting money. Don't need to light a dark closet. Yeah, that, that's, that's the interesting thing because uh, we call it the Prius effect, which is the Prius is a fantastic piece of technology, but it's marginally more efficient than a standard gas engine. But when you add that screen, where people can actually see in real time what their driving habits are doing to their efficiency, they alter what they're doing. So the same thing can happen here, right? Correct, I mean, absolutely. I find out, wow, why am I using up so much power at two in the morning when there's nobody awake and you start turning things off and killing the vampires and the standby, or why, why am I having so much draw during the hottest months and you realize my refrigerator's inefficient? That's correct, that's I mean, correct. And, and that is all available to the consumer. I mean, it's, it's yes. not just something that will be given to the utility so that they can spy on me. That's correct, yeah. Um, we gotta be careful that people understand this is not Big Brother right. monitoring you. This is you being able to control your energy usage. And um, as things move forward too, you might choose to buy an electric car. You might, um, have that car plugged into the into in the garage, and the utility might say, "Hey, you've got extra energy. We'll buy it from you." So now you get to actually work your electric bill down instead of it always going up. Now, tell me a little bit about this meter because you said that it's actually Zigbee based. Uh, well, it's it, it has the component, the Zigbee functionality built into it. It also has home plug built into it oh. as well. So it's WiMAX to connect to the WiMAX broadband network, and then into the home, you can use home plug and actually have a broadband connection that way as well. Right. And then the Zigbee functionality will talk to your refrigerators, your dryer washer, all the appliances in the home. So wait, wait, no, you, you just sprung that on me. You're saying that this meter could also be my connection to the internet. That's correct. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Surprise. Did, know, did not know that one. <laughs> and, but the other uber geeky side, for anyone who doesn't know what Zigbee is, it's that communication protocol that would allow this to say talk to, yeah, my major appliances. And, correct. And now my oven can say, hey, you know what, I'm using up too much power. Maybe it's time for you to replace me. Right. That's, it. That's right. And um, refrigerators, dishwashers, that kind of thing. Uh, it can create a service environment that's proactive. Hey, call the repairman, you need something. Hey, maybe it calls the repairman itself and repairman shows up or makes an appointment. Are you going to be home, Mr. Jones? Hey, great. <laughs> and that's, it's, it's wonderful that there's a, a forward-looking company that's actually trying to build something that will not just serve the smart grid now, but could be expanded to include all those really cool Uber Geek projects. Right, right. Now, tell me a little bit about the box next to it. Well, now, this box is more for the electric utilities to deploy throughout the grid. This is the stuff that makes the, makes the dumb grid smart. Okay. And um, what happens today is uh, you'll see the electric worker going out with his 30-foot fiberglass <laughs> pole, switching switches and things. This is an internet uh, router-based device that can switch that stuff automatically. Also monitoring transformers. So uh, rather than having a thousand home electric outage, you can now predict when that transformer is going to blow, take it offline, 
do proactive repair so that uh, the um, uh, you don't you don't put the right. many thousands of homes. Yeah. When a transformer blows, it goes right down the line. Right. It blows it blows others. Everything else. So we want to try to minimize that kind of a thing happening. And that's just cool because again, it's it's stopping the fact stopping what we're doing right now, which is powering a 21st century network with a 19th century system. That's correct. Oh my goodness. Now, what can we expect to see from the future as these things start becoming abundant and available? Well, this is the future. This is the platform. The future is is opens up broadly now. So your home becomes an intelligent um, entity in itself. You start introducing smart appliances, yeah, yeah. smart cars, smart smart homes. Turn on different lights. Turn off different lights as you're coming home. Location-based services on the broadband network suddenly know what you're behavior is, oh, you're coming in, turn the thermostat up, we'll warm it up, that kind of thing. And so this really could be the beginning of your real smart home. This is the beginning. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing this tech for us to see it. You're welcome. And you stay tuned because we're not done with CES 2010. There's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>